Here at 212 Steam Labs, we have a philosophy and a vision where we, we believe in the idea of play. We believe in the idea of experiment, to tinker, to be lifelong learners. And, and as we started up on our last class for ancient engineering, the kids took their ideas from paper and took it to a whole new level. And they were able to explore and prototype and just play. As, as Seymour Papert always has said, the scandal of education is that every time you teach something, you deprive a child of the pleasure and benefit of discovery. Throughout the process, we were able to witness to kids the pleasure and the benefit of discovery. They were able to see if their ideas would work or not. Oftentimes, they found out their ideas did not work, and that's okay. As we were going through and testing ideas, it was on them to figure it out. And I often think that many times in life, they're asking for help, but they don't really want the help. What they're, what they're gleaning is just a little bit of support, a little nudge to begin to build trust in themselves. And I think that's something that, that often goes um, unnoticed. And so we have to make sure we're providing children the opportunity to experiment providing them the opportunity to take risk and the opportunity to play with their own ideas. And once we give them that permission, they can start to trust themselves. And that's really what we're after in education and learning. And so as you're watching these kids work through these videos, you're watching them try out their ideas. If we all had the exact same design, the exact same build with the exact same launching distance, is it really learning? I like to call that the brownie recipe effect, which we often see so many times in, in school and in learning where everybody walks out the same thing, and that just can't be the case. And so as you looked at the pictures, you were able to see so many amazing designs, so many cool techniques, and the only way for them to learn whether it worked or not was for them to try. And it was my job as the educator, as the leader, to just nudge them along, not give them answers, not tell them that their idea was going to work or not work. They had to figure that out. And then they had to go back and adapt. And you want to talk about the learning. The learning was taking place because they were pride. The, the pride that was developing in their work, you could start to watch it grow over the course of the, of the classes. This is what learning is all about. And as a result, we get moments like this. Okay, first King of Fling launch, experiment one. Ready, set, power. Nice, what are you going to fix? I may actually want to change the length of my arm. Okay, why are you thinking that? Because the point of leverage, when it kind of flings off, kind of makes it go higher. Well, maybe not. I'm not exactly sure. So you're going to adjust your arm just to see what happens? All right, what do you think? What are you going to test? Are you... I might just want to test it one more time. Two, one. Ah. Heads up! Heads up, it's coming right at you. <laughs> so what? So what I may need to change is the length of the arm so that it hits the ground. So that way it'll have a definite stopping point. Or is it just releasing the ball too soon? I think it's just releasing the ball too soon. Okay. So how do you what do you so what do you so how are you gonna fix that? I'd probably change the hook in some way. It's gonna happen. Okay. It's gonna work. Yeah. Not my bad. So we can read textbooks and do worksheets all we want, but at the end of the day, the best way to learn is to do. To take our ideas and actually ask the question, what if? And in those moments, we find out, yes, it works, no, it doesn't. And that's when the learning and the magic happens. This is the one degree of separation.